Chapter 407 Rescue Letter Qin Zingsuan's willowy eyebrows shot up. She grit her teeth, her chest heaving. He fists were tightly balled, but she eventually didn't punch him. She knew that her strength was inferior to his, and her influence was also inferior. What could she do? She could only endure this torment. Wu Long glanced at Qin Zingsuan with pity and said, What? Do you think I insulted you or something? The Acacia faction has many female disciples. We do not lack a Qin Zingsuan. Since you decided to live so haughtily, then ready yourself to die. Wu Long sneered and then left the hall. The one left behind was Qin Zingsuan. Her hands shook. If Wu Ang Boyan wanted to deal with her grandfather, then that was simply too easy a matter. Wu Ang Boyan didn't even need to do anything. As long as his disciples supported Yang Zhen and fabricated a false charge of plotting rebellion, then the Qin family would immediately be capsized overnight. The only hope Qin Zingsun had was Qin Zia. She shivered as she took out a long-distance sound transmitting talisman from her spatial ring and recorded a message, then lit it. Several hundred miles away, Qin Zia was sitting on a sandy beach. He lightly stroked his zither as a mass of flames slowly died out in front of him. Qin Zia heavily sighed. He shook his head, saying, When Lin Ming was alive, no one dared to bully him or anyone related to him. But now that Lin Ming has died, all the brilliance and glory that he possessed has lost any meaning. Wu Ang Boyan has been silent these past few months so I thought he had quit, but it seems that he will start his revenge on Lin Ming's family and friends. I owe Lin Ming for his graciousness so I cannot idly stand by. If I let this happen, then this will run contrary to my zither heart. Unfortunately, I have just been promoted to an elder and my strength is weak. My connections are also limited. If I want to resist Wu Ang Boyan, it is simply impossible unless I look for help. Of those that knew Lin Ming, the strongest one and the one who can most help me is Mukaiani Wu. If she could stand up for Qin Zing Sun, then she can guarantee 100 years of safety for the Qin family and Lin family. Mu Kian Yu was the future leader of Divine Phoenix Island. With just a few words, no matter how gutsy or courageous Su Ang Boyan was, he would never dare to harm Qin Zing Sun ever again. But the question was, would Mu Kian Yu help? Qin Zia had never seen Mu Kian Yu before. He had only heard that she and Lin Ming were close friends. As to what sort of person she was, Qin Zia was completely unclear. I cannot abandon hope here. If Mu Kian Yu isn't willing to help, then I can still look for other ways. As Qin Zia though this, he wrote a letter and sent it to Divine Phoenix Islands Mu Kiani U. Since the outbreak of war within the South Sea, the seven profound valleys had allied with Divine Phoenix Island. Both of them corresponded with each other, and the methods in which they did so were much more than sound transmissions. Of course, letters were much more frequent. The consumption of true essence stones and sending these letters was much more efficient. Within the South Sea battlefield, Kinzia found a letter delivering transmission array that the seven profound valleys managed and then started the array to send out the letter. The South Sea was an extremely vast swath of land. The islands that Kinzia and Mukaini were on were separated by nearly half a million miles. After several passes through transmission arrays that took three days, the letter finally reached Mukaini At the receiving location, there was a disciple who was responsible for receiving the letters and then classifying and separating them, so that they could be further processed to other locations. A letter for Her Highness Kaini The Seven Profound Valleys Elder Kinzia, a third grade sex new elder wants to deliver a letter to our Sandus. With Mukaini status, this disciple wasn't qualified to deliver a letter to her. That's right. The Seven Profound Valleys is the sect that Lin Ming came from. The disciple had an unsettled expression. In order to speed along the matter of Mu Kianyu and Mu Qingshu's wedding, the third elder had arranged for Mu Kianyu to stay at this island. Naturally, everyone here was under the control of the third elder. Mu Qingshu was their master, and any matter that occurred must first be reported to him. The disciples on the island almost all knew the delicate relationship between Mu Qingshu, Mu Kianyu, and Lin Ming. Not only that, but they knew that Mu Qingshu's mood had been extremely bad these last few days. This litter came from the seven profound valleys that had once been Lin Ming's sect. As a result, this was an extremely unusual situation. Thinking this, the disciple sent a sound transmitting talisman to Mu Qingshu, senior apprentice brother Mu, an elder from the Seven Profound Valleys has sent a letter to Her Highness Kiani Yu. After Mu Qingshu received the sound transmitting talisman message, he frowned. Seven Profound Valleys elder, he was probably connected to Lin Ming. Give me the letter. Mu Qingshu's mood was just terrible at this moment. Yes, soon, the letter was delivered and Mu Qingshu impolitely opened it. Although the letter was sealed, it could still be resealed without looking any different. If it wasn't some letter that was related to Lin Ming, then he might as well pass it to Mu Qiani Yu. As soon as Mu Qingshu opened the letter, he read through it and was immediately angry. Lin Ming? It's really about that damn fellow. Even though he's dead his ghost still haunts me. This is, as Mu Qingshu continued to read, he was no longer angry. In fact, as he read along, his angry expression turned to a happy smile. Ha ha. So it's about this. Now that Lin Ming has died, all of his enemies from before are looking for revenge. Who is this Qin Zingsu? From what I can tell, it seems she had a significant relationship with Lin Ming. Interesting. Interesting. Later this might even involve the Lin family. If something so fun didn't occur, that would really be far too regrettable. Mu Qingshu's lips curved up in an evil smile. He was anticipating watching this play, and in his eyes, Qin Zingsun was the perfect actress. Not bad. Even though my mood is poor, you've come to put on a play for me. I hope that you can act it out a bit more tragically and realistically, otherwise it will be too boring. Mu Qingshu stretched out his fingers and channeled a flame. The letter immediately ignited, and then turned into ash. Since my young cousin is so busy, I shouldn't disturb her with trivial things like this, lest she be moved by the occasion and recall that fellow who keeps haunting her like a ghost. That would just be too unpleasant. Ah, cousin of mine, oh cousin of mine, 
You should quietly be my darling wife and offer me your perfectly beautiful body and primordial energy. If you take care of me with all your heart and soul, then I will treat you well too. I will make you feel so much pleasure that you would die. Ha ha ha. Mu Qingxu smiled with self-satisfaction and then blew away all the ash. Now that he was finally able to get back at Lin Ming, he was in an incomparably happy mood. Another month passed. Since the time that Lin Ming had entered the Divine Phoenix Mystic Realm, an entire ten months had passed. On this day, the Crown Prince Yang Zhen officially ascended to the throne. The old Emperor of Sky Fortune Kingdom was designated as Tusik and sent into the Back Palace. The original Crown Prince Yang Lin was placed under house arrest in Sky Fortune City, and was unable to leave. The ceremony of the throne ascension would last for a full seven days. Yang Lin sat alone in his palace, drinking by himself. Just a few steps away were armed guards. Yang Lin wasn't even able to take a half step out of his room. As he listened to the loud horn sounds of the ascension ceremony, Yang Lin bitterly smiled. He drank some wine, then filled up another glass and sprinkled it on the ground. Brother Lin, it seems that in a few days I'll follow you down to the Yellow Springs. Yang Lin sighed. Now that Yang Zhen has ascended to the throne, he would either be killed or put under house arrest for life. No matter what happened to him, it was all the same. Not just that, but a miserable ending awaited his younger sister and mother. After Qin Zia sent his letter, he began to count the days. He waited and waited, and after a full ten days, there was no message. Qin Zia feared that because of how complex and fierce the war on the battlefield was, there might have been an accident with the letter. Thus, ten days later he had a second letter delivered. But this letter disappeared like before, as if it would never return. One month passed, Qin Zia finally gave up. Ten days ago, Qin Zingsun had accepted the transfer order and now had to go to the open sea battlefield. She had no choice but to do so. The life of her kin family and its entire people were within Yang Zhen's grasp, to the absolute power of a strong martial artist. The military power of the mortal world was only joke. Qin Zhe may have been a hero within Sky Fortune Kingdom, but in front of the seven profound martial house master Ruang Lin, he was nothing more than a lamb to be slaughtered. As Qin Zia looked at the misty sea, he let out a deep sigh. Human death is like the extinguishing of the lamp. Both of my letters seem to have been dropped into the sea. I fear that Mu Kianyu will not care for the family of a dead man. Much less, with Qin Zingsun's status, she might not be to Mu Kianyu's liking. Qin Zia could only ruefully smile. In truth, he actually thought that his letter simply didn't have the qualifications to reach the hands of Mu Kianyu. But no matter what happened, there was no difference to him. The end result was that the letter wasn't delivered. Even if Qin Zia personally went to Divine Phoenix Island, it would be impossible for someone of his status to see Mu Kianyu. It was just like a commoner that wanted to meet the princess. There was simply no chance to do so. Zing Sun, now that it's come to this, all I can do is try to preserve the lives of your family. The open sea battlefield is extremely dangerous, but it doesn't mean guaranteed death. As long as you can persist within the open sea battlefield and last until the end of the war, Qin Zia shook his head, mocking himself. If he had to blame anything, he could only blame his strength and background for being too weak. He was only one person, and in the past he had also been a solitary musician by himself. He had found shelter within the seven profound valleys and had been given the last name of Qin. He could not deal with someone like Kuang Boyan who was from the seven profound valleys and also had the backing of the Uang family clan. He was clear that if Qin Zingsun was forced to stay at the open sea battlefield, with her cultivation which had just broken through to the pulse condensation period, it was highly unlikely that she would be able to live until the end of the war. Within the Divine Phoenix Mystic Realm, on the endless red plains, a terrifying explosion shot up to the sky, as the entire earth seemed to overturn. A bone dragon that was crimson all over was turned to ashes from the power of that blast. With the combination of the Divine Demon Thunder Soul and the Fallen Star Flame, the might of Thunderfire Annihilation was earth-shattering. Lin Ming supported himself on the ground with the purple comet's beer, chest heaving as he gasped for breath. Now that he had fought all the way here, his enemies were no longer limited to rock puppets. There were massive numbers of skeletons, demons, vicious beasts, and even that giant bone dragon that he had destroyed. This bone dragon's defensive strength was too amazing. In a prolonged battle with Lin Ming, Lin Ming had been forced to use the complete Thunderfire Annihilation to destroy it, turning it into ash. Even though Lin Ming's cultivation had reached the Middle Haoshan Realm, the complete, full-strength Thunderfire Annihilation still consumed 50% of his true essence. With the enhancement of the Flame Essence and Thunder Soul's Grade, the energy that Thunderfire Annihilation consumes is increasingly terrifying. My cultivation is already at the peak of the Middle Haoshan Realm and Tempering Marrow has reached 60% completion. All that's left over is the last Shattered Demon Heart Crystal. After breaking through to the Haoshan Realm, because of his solid foundation, Lin Ming's cultivation had increased by leaps and bounds. In just half a year, he had gone from the early Haoshan Realm to the top of the Middle Haoshan Realm. He was just a single step from reaching the late Haoshan Realm. Lin Ming held the Shattered Demon Heart Crystal in his hand. Once I eat this last Shattered Demon Heart Crystal, I'll almost reach a breakthrough. My Tempering Marrow will also reach 65% completion. I wonder just what sort of effects that will have. As Lin Ming was about to eat the Shattered Demon Heart Crystal, the space in front of him suddenly blurred. Palace Spirit. Lin Ming looked at the massive white light in front of him. The Palace Spirit that had been in a deep slumber ever since the start of a smelting trial had finally reappeared. 